What's going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. First story of the day comes out of the Essential Phone Camp. Now, if you don't know about the Essential Phone Camp, it was started by Andy Rubin. Andy Rubin helped create Android, the same operating system that you use now. And he also helped create the Sidekick phone from back in the day. Well, his new company, Essential Phone, the Essential Phone currently did not have a a carrier here in America that they were teaming up with. They were just going to sell the phone uh, over their website and that's where you would buy it. Well, they now have their exclusive carrier that you can get this phone through once the phone launches. And drum roll, please. It's Sprint. Yeah, I know. Sprint's kind of lame. But the essential brand president, Nicolo Domasi, told USA Today, I feel like we are a new brand and a new consumer electronics company, and we are partnering with the network of the future. Who's he talking about? I hope he's not talking about Sprint. Sprint is not the network of the future. No way in hell. They're not turning that ship around. (laughs) The ship's going out of business or being sold before something good happens with it. Trust me, Sprint will not be good. But anyways, they're going to be Sprint's exclusive carrier, but you'll still be able to buy the phone through the website of Essentials and use it on any carrier that you want. So don't feel like you have to go to Sprint to use this phone. Next story is all about everyone's favorite phone that got recalled, the Galaxy Note. Seven. Well, it looks like the latest rumor on this phone is that it's going to come out in South Korea around July 7th, be priced at around $600, and possibly have Bixby equipped with it. Now, it does not have a Bixby button. They didn't add a dedicated Bixby button, so I don't know if you're just going to have to go in through the software keys, or maybe there's some, you know, they can triple tap the home button or double tap the home button, and it'll launch Bixby. I don't know, but uh, should have Bixby, it looks like. Uh, July 7th, around $600, and there should be about, I know this is a wide range, between 150 and 450,000 of these Galaxy Note 7 FE editions released into the public over in South Korea. Next up is about the iPhone 8 and some reported leaks of parts for the iPhone 8, and it's kind of scary, especially for people that love Samsung and Android, and I'll tell you why. If you look at the parts here, it looks like there is no fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. You're like, well, okay, who cares? It's gonna be on the front. Well, if it's on the front, it's gonna be under the screen, which is what the Galaxy S uh, Note 8 was supposed to have, but it's not going to have from all the rumors we've been hearing. And if iPhone has it, this is a big get, a big technology jump, and for something that you think Samsung would have, and it looks like Apple might be the first phone to have the fingerprint sensor embedded under the display on the front. And our last story of the day is all about the Google Pixel 2 and how it is canceled, that's right going to be canceled it looks like that's the latest rumor coming out of the google camp is that they were going to release three new google pixel phones a small one a middle one and a a very large one now the middle one would have been the pixel xl uh successor the pixel xl2 but it looks like that's going to be completely not released and the reason being is they didn't want to flood the market with three devices to kind of confuse the the, the people that might end up buying one of these phones. So it looks like they're gonna release a small one which would be called Walleye and I assume that's gonna be the 5.6 inch uh, curved display Google Pixel that should be coming out in October. And the other one is codenamed Timon and that should be a very large displayed phone. Talking probably in the 6.2.3.4 area, but if you have a curved display, again, it's not gonna be that bad, especially when it's 18 by nine, which means it's gonna be fairly skinny, but tall, same as what you get with these kind of Galaxy S8, S8 Plus but more like probably the LG G6 since that's an 18 by nine ratio on that display. So I'm not bummed out by this whatsoever. And I'll tell you why, because I would rather have that much larger phone rather than the middle phone, which will end up being probably would have been 5.8, 5.9 inches, especially with the curved display. So 
I think it's a great move. They're, these displays, that they're, they're obviously probably influenced by what Samsung did because Samsung released a 5.8 and a 6.2 and both are doing really well, especially that 6.2. So two thumbs up, Google. I am not worried. I will still get you my favorite phone of last year, the Pixel. I'll just get it in a much larger size. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My thank you to my Patreon supporters. <laughs> Yes. If you want to be a Patreon supporter, if you love this show, guys, it is a great way to support the show. Click on that link down below and hang out and be a Patreon supporter. Also, my question of the day is, you're left on a deserted beach. You can only bring three things with you. What are those three things and why? Thanks for watching. I will see you down the road. Peace. What up, everybody? If you didn't see yesterday's news video, click on it uh, right up there. It's all about the new Xbox One X, their 4K gaming beast. Check it out, the video below. That is a video that I released today about a digital scale that measures your fat and weight and all this other crazy stuff. Check it out. And then my head, click it. Click subscribe. Be with us. Be with us.